Welcome back to Sports Day. Great to have your company and nice to finish off with a winner. Green to Green, our golf segment. Thanks to Barra and O'Day because the little things are everything. And speaking of Barra and O'Day, out at today's tournament, which was sponsored for the 17th year by the wonderful team at Barra and O'Day, we had a big tournament at the Lake Carinup Country Club. And I'm glad to say that we have the winner on the end of the phone. Her name is June Song and she joins us here on Sports Day. June. Congratulations. How are you? Thank you so much. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, going really well, but I reckon not as good as you. And you've had beautiful <laughs> conditions and you're playing on the best course yeah. in Perth. It's uh, just down the road from where I live, actually. It's a pretty good part of the world. Oh. Yeah, it is. It, the course is in such great condition. The Greenkeepers really did such a great job. And the greens are rolling really pure as well. So it was an absolute treat playing here. Now, you're a New South Wales girl and you beat one of your fellow states women there. How much how much competition was there towards the end here? Um, if I'm being honest, I I wasn't really focused on, you know, just the result. I just um had my own goal for the week and just trying to get achieve that goal pretty much. So yeah, that was that wasn't really there. I just wanted to, you know, play my best and just have fun out there. Just take us back, given that you are a New South Wales girl, you're talking to a Perth audience here tonight and we love to get to know yeah. people on this program. Graham, uh, when did you start out uh, in golf and where did you apply your craft? Um, so I started playing golf when I was six years old. Um, there used to be a driving range at Sydney Olympic Park and that's when I first started taking lessons and, yeah, pretty much haven't stopped since then, yeah. And you're doing a really good job and this will be your last yeah. tournament that you play in Australia, I understand. You're heading overseas to the US to, to go and study. Is this correct? That is true. Um, I'm going to Iowa State University um, to study journalism and mass communication, and I'll be on the golf team as well. So, yeah, unfortunately, this was one of my last tournaments, but I finished on a high, so I was really happy with it, yeah. So when you choose Iowa State uh, University, yeah. is it because of the, the journalism degree that you can get or more around their golf program that they do have? Um, more around their golf, um, pretty much because that's, what I want to do in the future and um, a degree would just be a backup. So, yeah, I looked at the coach, the team, um, everyone was that was there and how, you know, how they work over there and they felt like a family to me. So I really love that atmosphere. So, yeah, that's why I decided in Iowa State. And how long will it mean that you will be able to spend in that sort of environment? Um, so the degree is for four years. So I'll be playing on their team for four years, yeah. Okay. And, and along the way, how does it work? So you're 18 now, obviously you're going to be 22. Mm -hmm. is, is, there, is there any point along that line that you can turn professional? I mean, how does that part of it work? Um, yeah, so obviously if I do really well over there, I may be able to turn professional before I graduate if I want to. Um, but for the moment, I'm planning to stay in there for the four years and gaining as much experience as I can playing over there. So, yeah. And given all the rain over there in New South Wales, have any golf courses that you normally play at been affected with the massive water that we've seen? Um, so my home, before I left to Perth um, to come here, um, my golf course was actually shut for a couple of days and I know some other golf courses in the area were um, flooded as well. So, yeah, the rain hasn't been that great over there. Yeah. How are you celebrating tonight? Um, drinks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, baby. Do you get together with, do you get together with uh, fellow opponents to celebrate or have you got a few friends over? How are you going to do that part? Yeah, um, we have a cocktail party and at Lake Karen up and obviously Joe O'Day is here. Um, he's a major sponsor of the event. So we're all downstairs having a drink and I've actually got a glass of wine sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what we like to hear. Well, well done, young lady. Enjoy that beautiful <laughs> wine. I uh, hope you enjoyed coming thank to WA so and good luck for your career. Thank you so much and thanks so much for having me on the show. Good on you. June Song here on thank Sports Day for Barron Day. What a great supporter of the Karen Oak Country Club and that little tournament, Hayes. Barron Day, don't miss out on the little moments because the little things are everything.
We will see you again tomorrow. We'll have a guest out of the Western Bulldogs. We'll have a chat to the glory. Hopefully Tony Sage was a little bit vocal this week. We'll do JB and Shorty in our chase for charity. And, of course, we'll have hopefully a few more footy teams to talk about as we lead into what will be a busy weekend in sport.